right, man. Let's talk about uh, everybody calling better BF and Beevil, a robbery. I do appreciate everybody for tapping in, thumbs up the video, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel. You have a number of boxers saying it was a robbery, but you know, I'm going to speak on that too. I got some videos coming. I'm about to cut all the videos um, for Sunday and Monday. The non-boxing videos you'll see on Sunday. Uh, I'm probably going to post up too. Uh, you know, you'll probably, uh, yeah, you'll probably, uh, um, I can't even think in my mind. I just woke up and some Mexicans up there partying. And I'm like, it's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, so maybe for Monday you'll see all boxing videos. Perhaps I don't really know how it's going to shake. Should be changing. But, uh, you know, and I'm going to do a video talking about how, you know, most boxers don't know shit about boxing. You know, you know, it's so funny today. A lot of the talking points that that people get in boxing today, a lot of those talking points for real, for real, um, come from boxing boxers. Like when Earl Spence was saying those things about Terrence Crawford, a lot of a lot of day his fanboys got them talking points from Earl Spence. That's what I kind of be trying to tell y'all. A lot of these boxer fans, they get their shit from the promoters and they get it from the managers. And the mouthpieces in boxing and the fighters say certain things. So a lot of times these fighters bet they got alternative agendas and all that. Now, can I say, I mean, Beaver fought the perfect fight. And I'm going to do a review video. This is just the one I wanted to start off with. He fought the perfect fight. He can fight a better fight, in my opinion. Like I said, I think the only thing that really, that really he could have really done any different was throw an uppercut and maybe, you know, drop that hook to the body. That's the only thing, and I didn't score, and I'm not going, I'm going to watch it. I'm not even going to go back and watch it or score it for what? <laughs> I might do it for the Patreon, but you got to ask yourself for what? You know, you got to ask yourself for what? I mean, it ain't going to change nothing. The judges only get a uh, get a one chance to look at it. The judges only get one chance to look at it. So I seen Shakir Stevenson say, you know, um, he got robbed and all this type of stuff. And, you know, but you got so many, uh, you know, you have so many, uh, you know, different opinions. You had, you know, people say, I thought Beaver won. You had a lot of people say, well, I thought, uh, I thought Arthur won. You had a bunch of those people saying that. So you got to understand ever since, ever since, uh, Ever since uh, Canelo Triple G won, I've been saying this. They've been scoring the fight for their aggressor. Ineffective or effective, they've been scoring these fights for their aggressor. And I think people really don't understand the effect that fight had on boxing. You know, so you had a lot of, oh, he got robbed or this dude got robbed. And a robbery is not a close fight. A two-point fight is not a robbery. And then blame the point system on boxing. Blame the point system. The point system, even if you dominate around, you know what I'm saying? Without, you know, without, without no knockdowns or nothing like that, that's usually considered just one point your way. But if a dude come back and die, you know, when the next, you know, I don't know, drop you like three or four times like Wilder Fury won, I mean, it's hard to score. It's hard to score. So I find it funny when a lot of people talk, talk turn around and so that was a robbery. This was a, a close fight ain't a robbery. You know, and I find it funny is when the black fighter boxes, you know, when the, when the black fighter boxes, right, when he boxes, you know, it's considered running. But when Beevil uh, boxed, it was considered boxing. But you know why Beevil got a lot of support? And I'm going I'm to do that video too. You know why Beevil got a lot of support? It's because of the Canelo effect. They didn't want to have better BF one up Canelo Alvarez. That's what a lot of it had to come down to. You ain't never seen this many people, you know, uh, cherish and put Canelo, uh, put Beevil style on the pedestal, no matter what ethnic background he came back from. Usually that that style is 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 is, is, is shunned in boxing now. They're trying to outlaw the boxer puncher. They're trying to outlaw the boxer puncher. I felt like Dimitri Bivol really controlled that fight. He boxed pretty damn well. 
you know, but then again, better BF came forward. And, and when better BF came forward, it was the illusion of, I won't say the illusion, but what happened was better BF, start, I mean, B will start running, balling up. He started balling up. He started balling up. And when he started balling up, you know, I don't think it looked, the aesthetics didn't look well. And then his face was beat up. And, you know, you got people say, we got to go off how uh, the face look and this, that, and the third. And not necessarily, I mean, in school, that was the rule of thumb. No matter, you know, whatever, how many punches you land. I remember we had this dude named Emmanuel and Demetrius. You know what I'm saying? And um, they was fighting in the bathroom. You know, they was fighting in the bathroom. You know, they was, you know, and Emmanuel was on top of Demetrius wearing his ass out. No, Diddy. And um, super no, Diddy. And Demetrius somehow pressed him off his, off his chest. And, you know, he this is a big dude. He like pressed him off his chest and he cracked his head on the uh, on the bathroom toilet. And when he cracked his head on the bathroom toilet, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, when he cracked his head on the bathroom toilet, man, it was over. He just was leaking. He oh, so guess who? Guess who? People deemed won the fight. Demetrius, Big Meech. <laughs> so you know, Beevil, Beevil didn't look good after that fight. He did not look good after that fight. He did not look good at all after that fight. You know. But then you know the law, but he couldn't have fought a better fight, bro. In my opinion, he couldn't have fought a better fight. He fought a great fight. Better be able, like the knee surgery might have been. I'm not sure if it was age, it might have been in combination of the knee surgery, you know, and also it was a lack of IQ and lack of good advice. He should exclusively been going to that body. Better be able don't go to the body enough. That's my problem. He don't he don't attack that body enough. Yeah, he don't attack that body enough, you know, and he need to go to the body. But then again, you know, they looked at the end of those rounds and he was getting the better exchanges. Even and I said this in other fights, even in other other uh, even in other fights, even in other fights, you know, what I'm saying they be scoring it for. The dude that 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 just win the last nine, 30 seconds of the fight, not even the last 90 seconds of the round or the last 30 seconds of the round. They just be scoring it for them, <laughs> you know, but it was a very close competitive fight. A lot of people said, well, Arthur won the first round. He won the last three. That's four rounds right there. That's four. That's four rounds. So to get a draw list, realistically, he only had to win 10 more. I mean, two more. I would I would say he probably won two more in there, so that's six. So you know, blame the way the system is 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 played and played. So he probably won. So that's six right there. Could you find another way to give him two more? I mean, yeah. So like I said before, is you know I can't really say it was a it was a, it was a it was a robbery. It was a close competitive fight. You had Ryan Garcia said it was a robbery. Devin Haney was like, a close fight is not a robbery. It's not. Close fights are not robberies. But I, I find it funny, like, how all of a sudden everybody going for the boxers. And for a long time, a lot of these people were exclusively going for the, the brawler. Tell me I'm wrong. A lot of these dudes was exclusively going for the brawler. Remember, a lot of these dudes was like, oh, man, you know, the pressure, the pressure. All of a sudden now it's Beevil. And I say they got a lot to do with Canelo and they got a lot to do with his skin color. It do. It got a lot to do with his color and it got a lot to do with his skin color. It do. You know, because when black fighters box like that, they don't get the benefit of the doubt. They don't. Well, he ran, he ran, he ran. And this dude at certain points of the fight was literally running. So you got to understand there's three judges out there at three different angles. 
of the ring. So let's not forget that it's three judges at three different ring, uh, ain't ring angles. There's three three judges at three different ring angles. It's three judges at three different ring angles. You know, in my Doctor Umar voice. So yeah, don't forget that neither. So everybody got a different angle, and then you got the statics. At some point in this fight, and he was boxing a lot, but at some points he was literally running. He was balling up, you know, like a DV victim. He was literally balling up at as in aspects of this fight. Literally, he was balling up. You know, and better BF was just whooping on his ass, and that's how they were scoring it. Do I do I think that's the correct way to score it? No. In my humble opinion, that's not the correct way to score it. You know, that's just me. That's not the correct way to score it. But that's my opinion. But, you know, they felt that better BF caused him more damage. He was more destructive. Um... You know, he was stalking them the whole night and they didn't like the style of running. And, you know, I said it and somebody else said it in the live stream yesterday. And somebody said it in the live stream yesterday. And it was it was great what he said. He said <laughs> the brother said that they're trying to outlaw uh, boxers in boxing. They're trying to outlaw boxers in boxing. And I would definitely agree. I forget who said it. He said they're trying to outlaw boxers in boxing. And I and I and I believe that they're trying to outlaw boxing and boxers and boxing. I really do believe that. So I find that funny. They really are. But <clears throat> But I don't. I think it was a close, competitive fight. Um, I don't really think Bebo could have did too much more. Maybe you know, try to uppercut when you know the fighter coming in. Maybe try to get that left hook to the body. But you know, then again, that could have put him in some type of uh, that could have put him in some type of danger. Yeah, that could have put him in some type of danger, bro. So. Yeah, trying to uppercut a left hook to the body would have been a risk. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. One support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Check out the Patreon. I won't be disappointed. Find me on X, Instagram, and a whole bunch of other places. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.